matrix multiplication. In mathematics, matrix multiplication is a binary operation that takes a pair of matrices and produces another matrix. Numbers such as the real or complex numbers can be multiplied according to elementary arithmetic. On the other hand, matrices are arrays of numbers, so there is no unique way to define the multiplication of matrices. As such, in general the term matrix multiplication refers to a number of different ways to multiply matrices. The key features of any matrix multiplication include, the number of rows and columns the original matrices have, and specifying how the entries of the matrices generate the new matrix. Like vectors, matrices of any size can be multiplied by scalars, which amounts to multiplying every entry of the matrix by the same number. Similar to the entry-wise definition of adding or subtracting matrices, multiplication of two matrices of the same size can be defined by multiplying the corresponding entries, and this is known as the Hadamard product. Another definition is the Kronecker product of two matrices, to obtain a block matrix. One can form many other definitions. However, the most useful definition can be motivated by linear equations and linear transformations on vectors, which have numerous applications in applied mathematics, physics, and engineering. This definition is often called the matrix product. In words, if A is an NXM matrix and B is a MXP matrix, their matrix product AB is an NXP matrix in which the M entries across the rows of A are multiplied with the M entries down the columns of B, the precise definition is below. This definition is not commutative, although it still retains the associative property and is distributive over entry-wise addition of matrices. The identity element of the matrix product is the identity matrix, analogous to multiplying numbers by 1, and a square matrix may have an inverse matrix analogous to the multiplicative inverse of a number. A consequence of the matrix product is determinant multiplicativity. The matrix product is an important operation in linear transformations, matrix groups, and the theory of group representations and irreps. For large matrices and or products of more than two matrices, this matrix product can be very time-consuming to calculate so more efficient algorithms to compute the matrix product than the mathematical definition have been developed. This article will use the following notational conventions, matrices are represented by capital letters in bold, for example, a, vectors in lowercase bold, for example a, and entries of vectors and matrices are italic, since they are scalars, for example, a and a. Index notation is often the clearest way to express definitions, and will be used as standard in the literature. The I, J entry of matrix A is indicated by, A, is or age, whereas a numerical label, not matrix entries, on a collection of matrices is subscripted only, for example, A1, A2, etc. Scalar multiplication the simplest form of multiplication associated with matrices is scalar multiplication. The left scalar multiplication of a matrix A with a scalar L gives another matrix L of the same size as A. The entries of L are defined by explicitly. Similarly, the right scalar multiplication of a matrix A with a scalar L is defined to be explicitly. When the underlying ring is commutative, for example, the real or complex number field, these two multiplications are the same, and are simply called scalar multiplication. However, for matrices over a more general ring that are not commutative, such as the quaternions, they may not be equal. For a real scalar and matrix. For quaternion scalars and matrices. Where i, j, k are the quaternion units. The non-commutativity of quaternion multiplication prevents the transition of changing as g equals plus k to g equals k. Matrix product two matrices. Assume two matrices are to be multiplied. The generalization to any number is discussed below. General definition of the matrix product. If A is an NXM matrix and B is an MXP matrix. The matrix product AB, 
denoted without multiplication signs or dots, is defined to be the NXP matrix, where each I, J entry is given by multiplying the entries A, across row I of A, by the entries B K J, down column J of B, for K equals 1, 2, M, and summing the results over K. Thus the product AB is defined only if the number of columns in A is equal to the number of rows in B, in this case M. Each entry may be computed one at a time. Sometimes, the summation convention is used as it is understood to sum over the repeated index K. To prevent any ambiguity, this convention will not be used in the article. Usually the entries are numbers or expressions, but can even be matrices themselves. See block matrix. The matrix product can still be calculated exactly the same way. See below for details on how the matrix product can be calculated in terms of blocks taking the forms of rows and columns. Illustration A figure to the right illustrates diagrammatically the product of two matrices A and B, showing how each intersection in the product matrix corresponds to a row of A and a column of B. The values at the intersections marked with circles are Examples of matrix products Their matrix products are AND Note AB and BA are two very different matrices. The first is a 1x1 matrix while the second is a 3x3 matrix. Such expressions occur for real-valued Euclidean vectors in Cartesian coordinates, displayed as row and column matrices in which case AB is the matrix form of their inner product, while BA the matrix form of their dyadic or tensor product. Their matrix product is. However BA is not defined. The product of a square matrix multiplied by a column matrix arises naturally in linear algebra. For solving linear equations and representing linear transformations, by choosing a, B, C, P, Q, R, U, B, W and A appropriately, A can represent a variety of transformations such as rotations, scaling and reflections, shears, of a geometric shape in space. Their matrix products are AND. In this case, both products AB and BA are defined, and the entries show that AB and BA are not equal in general. Multiplying square matrices which represent linear transformations corresponds to the composite transformation, see below for details. Their matrix product is. However CBA is not defined. Note that A, B, C, equals, A, B, C, this is one of many general properties listed below. Expressions of the form A, B, C occur when calculating the inner product of two vectors displayed as row and column vectors in an arbitrary coordinate system, and the metric tensor in these coordinates written as the square matrix. Their matrix products are AND Properties of the matrix product two matrices Analogous to numbers, elements of a field, matrices satisfy the following general properties. Although there is one subtlety, due to the nature of matrix multiplication. All matrices. Not commutative, in general. Because A, B and B, A may not be simultaneously defined, and even if they are they may still not be equal. This is contrary to ordinary multiplication of numbers. To specify the ordering of matrix multiplication in words. Pre-multiply, or left multiply. A by B means B A, while post multiply, or right multiply, A by C means A C. As long as the entries of the matrix come from a ring that has an identity, and n greater than 1 there is a pair of n x n non-commuting matrices over the ring. A notable exception is that the identity matrix, or any scalar multiple of it, commutes with every square matrix. In index notation, distributive over matrix addition. Left distributivity. Right distributivity. In index notation, these are respectively. Scalar multiplication is compatible with matrix multiplication. And. Where L is a scalar. If the entries of the matrix are real or complex numbers, or from any other commutative ring, then all four quantities are equal. More generally, 
all four are equal if L belongs to the center of the ring of entries of the matrix, because in this case Lx equals XL for all matrices X. In index notation, these are respectively, transpose. Where T denotes the transpose, the interchange of row I with column I in a matrix. This identity holds for any matrices over a commutative ring, but not for all rings in general. Note that A and B are reversed. In index notation, complex conjugate, if A and B have complex entries, then where denotes the complex conjugate of a matrix. In index notation, conjugate transpose, if A and B have complex entries, then where plus denotes the conjugate transpose of a matrix, complex conjugate and transposed. In index notation, traces, the trace of a product AB is independent of the order of A and B. In index notation, square matrices only. Identity element, if A is a square matrix, then where I is the identity matrix of the same order, inverse matrix, if A is a square matrix, there may be an inverse matrix A, one of A such that, if this property holds then A is an invertible matrix, if not A is a singular matrix. Moreover, determinants, the determinant of the product AB is the product of the determinants of square matrices A and B, not defined when the underlying ring is not commutative. Since debt, A, and debt, B, are just numbers and so commute, debt, AB, equals debt, BA, even when AB, BA. Matrix product any number. Matrix multiplication can be extended to the case of more than two matrices, provided that for each sequential pair, their dimensions match. The product of n matrices A1, A2, and with sizes SOX S1, S1 XS2, SN, 1 XSN, where SO, S1, S2, SN are all simply positive integers and the subscripts are labels corresponding to the matrices, nothing more, is the SOXSN matrix. In index notation, properties of the matrix product any number. The same properties will hold, as long as the ordering of matrices is not changed. Some of the previous properties for more than two matrices generalize as follows. Associative, the matrix product is associative. If three matrices A, B, and C are respectively MXP, PXQ, and QX are matrices, then there are two ways of grouping them without changing their order, and is an MX a matrix. If four matrices A, B, C, and D are respectively MXP, PXQ, QXR, and are XS matrices, then there are five ways of grouping them without changing their order, and is an MXS matrix. In general, the number of possible ways of grouping n matrices for multiplication is equal to the n 1 th catalan number trace the trace of a product of n matrices a1 a2 n is invariant under cyclic permutations of the matrices in the product determinant for square matrices only the determinant of a product is the product of determinants examples of chain multiplication Similarity transformations involving similar matrices are matrix products of the three square matrices, in the form where P is the similarity matrix and A and B are said to be similar if this relation holds. This product appears frequently in linear algebra and applications, such as diagonalizing square matrices and the equivalence between different matrix representations of the same linear operator. Operations derived from the matrix product more operations on square matrices can be defined using the matrix product, such as powers and nth roots by repeated matrix products, the matrix exponential can be defined by a power series, the matrix logarithm is the inverse of matrix exponentiation, and so on. Powers of matrices Square matrices can be multiplied by themselves repeatedly in the same way as ordinary numbers, because they always have the same number of rows and columns. This repeated multiplication can be described as a power of the matrix, a special case of the ordinary matrix product. 
On the contrary, rectangular matrices do not have the same number of rows and columns so they can never be raised to a power. An nxn matrix A raised to a positive integer k is defined as and the following identities hold, where L is a scalar. Zero power. Where I is the identity matrix. This is parallel to the zeroth power of any number which equals unity, scalar multiplication, determinant. The naive computation of matrix powers is to multiply k times the matrix A to the result, starting with the identity matrix just like the scalar case. This can be improved using exponentiation by squaring, a method commonly used for scalars. For diagonalizable matrices, an even better method is to use the eigenvalue decomposition of A. Another method based on the Cayley-Hamilton theorem finds an identity using the matrices characteristic polynomial, producing a more effective equation for arc in which a scalar is raised to the required power, rather than an entire matrix. A special case is the power of a diagonal matrix. Since the product of diagonal matrices amounts to simply multiplying corresponding diagonal elements together, the power k of a diagonal matrix A will have entries raised to the power explicitly, meaning it is easy to raise a diagonal matrix to a power. When raising an arbitrary matrix, not necessarily a diagonal matrix, to a power, it is often helpful to exploit this property by diagonalizing the matrix first. Applications of a matrix product Linear transformations Matrices offer a concise way of representing linear transformations between vector spaces, and matrix multiplication corresponds to the composition of linear transformations. The matrix product of two matrices can be defined when their entries belong to the same ring, and hence can be added and multiplied. Let U, V, and W be vector spaces over the same field with given bases, S, V, W and T, U. V be linear transformations and street, U, W be their composition. Suppose that A, B, and C are the matrices representing the transformations S, T, and street with respect to the given bases. Then A B equals C, that is, the matrix of the composition, or the product, of linear transformations is the product of their matrices with respect to the given bases. Linear systems of equations A system of linear equations can be solved by collecting the coefficients of the equations into a square matrix, then inverting the matrix equation. A similar procedure can be used to solve a system of linear differential equations, see also phase plane. Group theory and representation theory The inner and outer products Given two column vectors A and B, the Euclidean inner product and outer product are the simplest special cases of the matrix product, by transposing the column vectors into row vectors. Inner product The inner product of two vectors in matrix form is equivalent to a column vector multiplied on the left by a row vector. The matrix product itself can be expressed in terms of inner product. Suppose that the first nxm matrix A is decomposed into its row vectors I, and the second mxp matrix B into its column vectors B. Where? Then. It is also possible to express a matrix product in terms of concatenations of products of matrices and row or column vectors. These decompositions are particularly useful for matrices that are envisioned as concatenations of particular types of row vectors or column vectors, for example orthogonal matrices, whose rows and columns are unit vectors orthogonal to each other, and Markov matrices, whose rows or columns sum to one. Outer product The outer product, also known as the dyadic product or tensor product, of two vectors in matrix form is equivalent to a row vector multiplied on the left by a column vector. An alternative method is to express the matrix product in terms of the outer product. The decomposition is done the other way around, the first matrix A is decomposed into column vectors I and the second matrix B into row vectors B. Where this time? This method emphasizes the effect of individual column row pairs on the result, 
which is a useful point of view with for example covariance matrices, where each such pair corresponds to the effect of a single sample point. Algorithms for efficient matrix multiplication The running time of square matrix multiplication, if carried out naively, is O, N3. The running time for multiplying rectangular matrices, 1 MXP matrix with 1 PXN matrix, is O, MNP, however, more efficient algorithms exist, such as Strassen's algorithm, devised by Volker Strassen in 1969 and often referred to as fast matrix multiplication. It is based on a way of multiplying two 2x2 matrices which requires only seven multiplications, instead of the usual eight, at the expense of several additional addition and subtraction operations. Applying this recursively gives an algorithm with a multiplicative cost of Strassen's algorithm is more complex, and the numerical stability is reduced compared to the naive algorithm. Nevertheless, it appears in several libraries, such as BLAS, where it is significantly more efficient for matrices with dimensions n greater than 100, and is very useful for large matrices over exact domains such as finite fields, where numerical stability is not an issue. The current O, N, K, Algorithm with the lowest known exponent k is a generalization of the Copper-Smith Winograd algorithm that has an asymptotic complexity of O, N2.3729 thanks to Vasilevska Williams. This algorithm, and the Copper-Smith Winograd algorithm on which it is based, are similar to Strassen's algorithm, a way is devised for multiplying two kxk matrices with fewer than k3 multiplications, and this technique is applied recursively. However, the constant coefficient hidden by the big O notation is so large that these algorithms are only worthwhile for matrices that are too large to handle on present-day computers. Since any algorithm for multiplying two n x n matrices has to process all two x n two entries, there is an asymptotic lower bound of O n two operations. Raz, 2002, proves a lower bound of O n two log. N for bounded coefficient arithmetic circuits over the real or complex numbers. Kone al. 2003-2005 put methods such as the Strassen and Coppersmith Winograd algorithms in an entirely different group theoretic context, by utilizing triples of subsets of finite groups which satisfy a disjointness property called the triple product property, TPP. They show that if families of wreath products of abelian groups with symmetric groups realize families of subset triples with a simultaneous version of the TPP, then there are matrix multiplication algorithms with essentially quadratic complexity. Most researchers believe that this is indeed the case. However, Allen, Schpke and Humans have recently shown that some of these conjectures implying fast matrix multiplication are incompatible with another plausible conjecture. The sunflower conjecture. Because of the nature of matrix operations and the layout of matrices in memory, it is typically possible to gain substantial performance gains through use of parallelization and vectorization. It should therefore be noted that some lower time complexity algorithms on paper may have indirect time complexity costs on real machines. Friervald's algorithm is a simple Monte Carlo algorithm that, given matrices A, B, C verifies in th, n2, time if a b equals c. Communication avoiding and distributed algorithms On modern architectures with hierarchical memory, the cost of loading and storing input matrix elements tends to dominate the cost of arithmetic. On a single machine this is the amount of data transferred between RAM and cache, while on a distributed memory multi-node machine it is the amount transferred between nodes. In either case it is called the communication bandwidth. The naive algorithm using three nested loops uses O, N3, communication bandwidth. Cannon's algorithm, also known as the 2D algorithm, partitions each input matrix into a block matrix whose elements are submatrices of size. M slash 3 by M slash 3, where M is the size of fast memory. The naive algorithm is then used over the block matrices, computing products of submatrices entirely in fast memory. This reduces communication bandwidth to O, N3 slash M, 
which is asymptotically optimal, for algorithms performing O, N3, computation. In a distributed setting with P processors arranged in A, P by P2D mesh, one submatrix of the result can be assigned to each processor, and the product can be computed with each processor transmitting O, N2 slash P, words, which is asymptotically optimal assuming that each node stores the minimum O, N2 slash P, elements. This can be improved by the 3D algorithm, which arranges the processors in a 3D cube mesh, assigning every product of two input submatrices to a single processor. The result submatrices are then generated by performing a reduction over each row. This algorithm transmits O, N2 slash P2 slash 3, words per processor, which is asymptotically optimal. However, this requires replicating each input matrix element P1 slash 3 times, and so requires a factor of P1 slash 3 more memory than is needed to store the inputs. This algorithm can be combined with Strassen to further reduce runtime. 2.5D algorithms provide a continuous trade-off between memory usage and communication bandwidth. Other forms of multiplication Some other ways to multiply two matrices are given below, in fact simpler than the definition above. Hadamard product For two matrices of the same dimensions, there is the Hadamard product, also known as the element-wise product pointwise product, in treewise product and the Scher product. For two matrices A and B of the same dimensions, the Hadamard product AB is a matrix of the same dimensions, the I, J element of A is multiplied with the I, J element of B, that is, displayed fully. This operation is identical to many multiplying ordinary numbers, Mn of them, all at once. Thus the Hadamard product is commutative, associative and distributive over and treewise addition. It is also a principal submatrix of the Kronecker product. It appears in lossy compression algorithms such as JPEG. Frobenius product The Frobenius inner product, sometimes denoted A, B, is the component-wise inner product of two matrices as though they are vectors. It is also the sum of the entries of the Hadamard product. Explicitly, where TR denotes the trace of a matrix and VEC denotes vectorization. This inner product induces the Frobenius norm. Kronecker product For two matrices A and B of any different dimensions MXN and PXQ respectively, no constraints on the dimensions of each matrix, the Kronecker product is the matrix with dimensions M, P, X, N, Q. This is the application of the more general tensor product applied to matrices.